We all pretended the nuclear war would never come. Maybe it was too dark, a thought to hold as reality in our minds. However, when the war did come, there were a few who had prepared. They created bunkers, stocked with supplies. These were the last bastions of humanity among the wasteland. You now have a difficult path ahead of you. There is only a small amount of space in your bunker. Who will you choose to save and who will you condemn to walk the wasteland for the rest of their, rest of their short lives? Along with those who join you, you will, will you be able to go out into the world and rebuild civilization? Or will you all perish? Welcome to Bunker Out. Bunker Down. Sorry, that's the name of the game. Uh, this is over, over on itch.io. It is a freebie. Uh, it actually came out last year, uh, but I completely missed it. And, uh, and Greystow Plays, you may be familiar with him. I guess has been playing it, and it's now popular again, uh, at least up in the rankings on itch, and I managed to come across it, and thought it was worth checking out. So, as we saw there, we are in charge of a bunker. We're one of those folks that uh, everyone called uh, called us the funny ones. We're the ones with, uh, you know, the bug-out bags in our truck, and uh, in our bunker, that everyone laughed at. Well, now we are the ones who are uh, in charge of everyone's lives, I suppose. So, let's try this thing out. Um, I don't know why there's already three people in here. I guess I have a family or something. Um, but we've got a capacity of 20 folks. James Turner has come to us now. He's standing at the, at our door, and he's saying, Hey, I'm low on food, but I can share what I have left with everyone here. I was a carpenter for 20 years before the war started. I can be a big help. You will need to do repairs, and I'm very handy when it comes to any trade work. Well, handy folks are what we need, James Turner. Come on in. And we got a point in build. So what's going to happen here is we're going to try to let these folks in. The um, and then we'll get a bit of a story of what happens after uh, after everything goes goes down. So we got Mary Black. I need some help as I was uh, I was with a group a week ago, but I got split up. I have no food or water. You allow me to join you. I was a school teacher and I can help look after the kids. Maybe even teach them something. Um, uh, there are no kids here, ma'am. Anita Chen is next. Can I join you in there? I can make clothing and other basics. I brought my tools and supplies with me, so I'm ready to go, and I can get making and fixing immediately. Oh yeah, Ma Anita, get in here. Peter Mann, mate, I've had enough of this wasteland. You gotta let me in because I can't stand this anymore. I can help you out if you need it. Extra pair of hands must be useful. Extra pair of hands, not useful, sir. Get out. And we have a dog has come. Just a dog named Peter Mann. Hey, hey Peter, I, I think I just saw your owner. <laughs> dog, get it. Get in here, dog. <laughs> Dog is giving us some social, because everyone loves a dog. I may be an old timer, but I'm still good with my hands, and I will easily be able to help with repairs and whatever building work you need. Let me come and join you. It's best for all of us. You, you know what, John Smith? I'll tell you what's best for all of us. Get out. Uh, get, get out. All right, Lenny Howell. Yo, what's up? I need a break from this wasteland. Do you have any space to spare? Anything could eat? Uh, it'd be great if I could join you. It would be great if you would not. Can you help me? I'm low on supplies and things are looking pretty bleak. Will you let me in, Dom? You bring the supplies to me. Then I'll think about letting you in. Jeremiah Cohn. I there I could do with a place to stay if you have space and are willing. I can help forage for food if you're low. Uh, I, I know it's safe and I have some ideas for cleaning out the radiation from food. You have some ideas, eh? Mm -hmm. I don't know about this guy. If he has ideas, he should tell me now. All right, fine. Now we got a point in survival for him. Good. Patrick. Storms uh, in the air are too much for me in this age. Let me in. Won't be able to go up, be going out for much longer. No, get out of here. All right, Tara was a home renovator specializing in interior decoration. I realized that making the bunker look good isn't exactly what you need, but I can do a lot of handiwork. Plumbing, wiring, etc. Um, hmm. Interior decorator. I mean, what's life if, if it's um, just a big steel box. Hey, Pat, uh, Patrice, my great nephew told me to come here, uh, said he's always already been let in. His name's James Turner. Oh, James, you wouldn't leave me out here alone, would you? <laughs> uh, come on in. Oh, she gave me nothing. Oh, man, what am I doing? Uh, wanna let me join you guys? I need some guns and other weapons if you need them. I have some guns and other weapons if you need them. I'm struggling out here on my own, and I definitely won't last long. Guns. Do we need guns in here? Hmm... I don't know, Rick. What else do you bring besides guns? Another we another weapons if you need them. No, no, J uh, Rick, Rick. I don't need them. Hazim, I was out in my garden when it all happened, and my wife was my wife. Let me in. I'm tired of all this suffering. Uh, Hazim, you breaks my heart. Get out. Have you see my dog? She's my woof, and I can't wag my tail woof with. A <laughs> Get out, Patrick. Not your dog anymore. Uh, the prophet of doom has arrived. You're all doomed. I shall call down the gods and destroy you in an instant if you do not let me in. 
Perhaps I can convince the gods to be merciful to those who sheltered their prophet. Uh, well, when you put it like that. Come on, anybody. Oh, you gave me no oh, you gave me negative. I have <laughs> Tom's here. I haven't had any food in a long time. Can you let me in and uh, share some of your food? I have a gun. I know how to use it. If you need help defending the bunker, I'll be of use. No, no. Get, you to get out of here. Jillian. Anyone there? Can you let me inside? I'm worried about what's outside. I can help gather resources from above for building tools if you let me use the shelter as a base. Uh, yeah, Jillian, that's, that's the kind of thing that you should be writing on that, that sheet. Get in here. We got a good building going on. Prophet of the Wasteland. We got another prophet? I've seen visions of you, the chosen survivor, and I was told by God, by the God, of the new world to join you and prepare for the enlightened return to the surface. Together we can ensure the survival of humanity under the shining eye of our God. I mean, we let what prophet in? We got a doom prophet, we got a wasteland. Sure. Sure. Oh, we're going down. <laughs> Joan Moody. Let me in. I don't want to die out here. I'm sorry. You don't, you're going to die if you come in here, so get out. Sophie. Help me my family died when it all happened. I just want people to stay out, stay with, and wait out. I just want people to stay with and wait out all the chaos. Um, Sophie, I need I need people that are useful. Tamil. We got seven people left in here. Used to be a doctor, <gasps> so I can help with medical problems you guys might be having. I've run out of food. You are my last chance. Please help, and I promise I won't take much space. You're welcome. Come on, anybody. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Hello. Will you let me in? I haven't slept in days, and I really need a safe place, safe space, even if it's only for one night. I have some food. I can share it with you if you want. I just don't want to die. I used to work as an engineer, so if you need well prepares, yeah, you know what? See, uh, Katie, this is how. So we're at five now. Our social was at two. We have a dog. We have a dog and a couple crazy folks that are that are bringing us down here. Let me join you. I have a couple handguns that can help us defend the shelter. Um, all right, Bridget. You know that that's okay. Come on in. Yeah, there we go. See my son. He's only twelve years old. We got split up somewhere around here, and I haven't seen him since. Can I come down here and see if he's with you? He's not. Go away. I right. help me. No, Blake, beat it. Uh, is this your twin? Linda's here. I'm a retired stock broker. I have a massive fortune. I'm willing to share it with anyone who shelters me through this apocalypse. I don't think that's going to do me any good. Get out. It's been a while since I've eaten, and I hope you will all provide me with some meat. How many people do you have down there? I bet there's enough to keep me eating for weeks. <laughs> no, no. No cannibalism this time, Mark. Get out. Can you help me? I needed somewhere safe to stay. I can provide you with some food. Plus, I'm pretty good with tools. Oh, you know what? We need some building help. More Sandy Hope? I uh, hope. Yes, yes, yes. Something out here. I don't know what it is, but I'm so scared. Please let me in. I'm being hunted. Shelter is the only way I will survive. Sorry, Don. Uh, Angelique. I was visiting this country on a work trip. I just want to get survive long enough to get home and see my family again. What will you do for me? Nothing. Velna. Your urgent medical care cares badly. Leg is damaged. I'll help out when it's healed up. I can do anything you need. Don't leave me out here to die alone. I'm sorry. All right, Merrick. I really need your help. I've lost my parents, and I don't know what to do. Can you please help me? Nope. Dean. Nuclear engineer. I helped build the bombs of the old world, so I understand the fallout they caused. If I join you, I can help you... We if uh, I can help you, and we, we can, uh, if I join you, I can join you. We, I can prepare machines, which will help. Sorry, you had me. You had me, Dean. You had me. And then, and then I don't know what happened. I don't know what this is. So get out, Dean. Drago. I was an actor for a few years before I became a. That was a bartender. I'm good with people. I can help look after everyone. I have a bunch of batteries. If you need some, happy to share. Sure, sure. Bring your batteries, Drago. Oh, here we go. Years passed. The signs of the apocalypse start to fade. You and the people are saved. Uh, the I saved emerge from the bunker. You manage to pull together enough resources and you build a strong camp. There is darkness in the camp. People hurt each other and run rampant. Where did we go wrong? We will not survive long. You know what? It's those prophets I let in. All right, we're doing it this time. I've never won this. Um, we're doing it this time. We're going it. We're going to win. We're going to win. Okay. Help me. I really need to be let in. I'm going to die out here. Electrician by trade. Yes. Jeremiah. I can do with a place to stay if you have space and are willing. I can forge for food. Uh, I know what's safe and I have some ideas for cleaning out radiation. Jeremiah, come on in. Tom's back. I haven't had any food in a long time. Uh, can I share some food? I have a gun. I know how to use it. I need help defending the bunker. I think maybe... We're going to need some... I know how to have a gun. I know how to use it. Alright. Come on in. Storms in the air are too much for me at this age. No, we don't need old people. Oh, no, you get out. Ha ha ha. Let me in. I have food and medical supplies. Ha ha, please. No. Beat it. 
used to be a doctor, so I can help with medical problems. Why did you used to be a problem, Tamil? Run out of food, you're my last chance. You're gonna eat all my food, buddy. Whatever. Rolling Stone. Rolling Stone, uh huh. Let me in, I'm a hairdresser. I can make all your hair all look good, just like mine. You can't survive with just builders. You need me. So I think I know what Rolling Stone is. I think he's a social guy. Yeah, there we go. Oh, you gotta have a hairdresser around. You need me, uh, you need to let me inside, says Gregory McTavish. I'm a psychology professor from Cambridge University. And frankly, you need my expertise to keep everyone under control. I can stop you all tearing each other apart before you get out. Gregory, I don't know you, that I need you telling me what, what I need and what I don't need. However, the last apocalypse, we failed because people went crazy. All right, Gregory, you better keep us in to get together here. Tired stock worker. Uh, more massive fortune. I don't need your money. Tell me, I'm low on supplies and things are looking bleak. Will you let me in? No. See my dog? Nope. He'd, uh, he'd let me in. I pay good money. I'm young. I don't deserve to die. Let me in. Sorry, Kate. Pastry chef. Working in famous hotels and restaurants. I'm good at working with just as few ingredients as possible. I should be able to make some tasty meals in there. Yeah, tasty meals sounds like an idea. Actor before a few years, then the bartender. We've seen you before. Drago. Drago Flame. Uh, a bunch of batteries. Yeah, yeah. I need those batteries. You're a social guy? Well, let me join you. I have some guns and other weapons if you need them. I'm um, struggling out here on my own. Definitely won't last long. Well, uh, nice knowing you, Rick. My family died when it all happened. I just want to stay out of the chaos. I want you to stay out of the chaos, too. Hardcore survival expert. I ran a show called Mandy's Eat or Be Eaten. I could probably survive out here by myself, but you uh, survive in there with... Can you survive in there without me, says Mandy Steelheart. Um, um, uh... Hardcore survival expert. Uh, what's she gonna do? Fine. Oh, she didn't do anything for us. I don't think... Was that three before? I think it was. See my son? He's only 12 years old. No, I haven't. Out my garden when it happened. My life... Yeah, yeah. I need clothing and other basics. Yeah, I do need you. Yeah. Nuclear engineer. Built the bombs. Prepare machines. Yeah, this is... Yeah. Sh Dean? Come on in. I don't know what to, don't know what to do. I'm desperate. No. The emergent uh, medical care. I'll help you out. Don't leave me here to die alone. Um, all right, Velna. I'll, I don't know, Velna. What are you gonna do for me? Nothing. It's been a while since I've eaten, and you're gonna eat people. No, no, no. If you told me he's already here, is James Turner? No, no, James not here. It's somewhere safe. I can provide. Uh, I can provide you with some food. Plus, I'm pretty good with tools and DIY. If you need any work to be done, I do. Sandy. Excellent. I can cook if you need. I was a chef in the past life, and I can make much something. I can make something great out of not much. A few bottles of whiskey. I'm sure, we appreciate it. It sure will, Daisy. Come on in. Trained firearms firearms expert. I work with the police uh, as an instructor for many years. I can keep you safe and make sure you have enough people trained so that we can be defend ourselves. I'll be a big asset. Shelter if you get me. Come in, Jenny Smith. I don't like people telling me what I like and what I don't like, but I'll let you in. Oh, that's two points. Truth is, you need me. I'm an expert builder. I've been building sites for 25 years, and I have a ton of knowledge that you need. If you want to survive, you need me to do repairs and improvements to this bunker. Wendy, I don't need you telling me what I need and what I don't need. Oh, the dog's back! Come on in, dog. Excellent. I'm good, good here. Trained vet. I know that it isn't quite the same as a doctor, but I can perform lots of basic medical work on people, too. Open up, and I'll get right to work with any medical problems you might have. We already have a doctor, Joe. Joe Thorne, aren't you a hockey player? Um. Okay. That's at five, though. Let me in. I haven't slept in days and really need a safe place, even if it's only for one night. I have some food to share with you. I don't want to die. You just work as an engineer, so if you need any repairs or structural work with the bunker, I can do that. I only got one spot available, and I think maybe we need someone that has some sort of defense ability. You just work as an engineer. I could have a good... What happened last time? People went crazy and lost their minds. I don't know. Let's, let's see if we can find someone better. Well, not you. Old timer, but good with my hands. Help you with repairs, whatever building work you need. Oh, man. John Smith is an old old timer. Old timers are always... No, old timers are grumpy. No old timers. Share what I have left with everyone here. I was a carpenter for 20 years before the war started. Big help. You will need to do repairs, and I'm very handy when it comes... All right, fine. Years pass, and signs of the apocalypse start to fade. People save, are saved. We did it again. We saved people. And from the bunker. To the new world. We band together and rebuild society with towns and cities, but there is a darkness embedded deep. Corruption, death, and hate plague the world you built. Would it have been better if we had never left the bunker? 
probably. Actually, I don't know if there's a way of winning the game or not. If there is and you have tried it, let me know because I can't seem to do it. Uh, <laughs> anyway, thanks again for watching. Ignore what's on the screen right now. <laughs> I'm doing some editing. Uh, and I will see you next time.